The first most simple one is pick a date. It sounds like really, really silly, but it's the thing that get, get my patients to where they need to be. Usually I prefer them to pick a date prior to the festive season and then you've got somewhere to go for. You've got something to look forward to. Um, but if you're not at that stage and you're just starting out now, that's also fantastic. The fact that you're trying to make a change is already three steps ahead of everybody else. So that's already positive. What I find is most people need to give themselves a bit of a break as well. Don't be so mean to yourself. The fact that you already want to make a change and you want to make a healthy start in your life is already such a positive step. So you're already doing a fantastic job. Um, and then after that, we look at routines, routines of eating, making sure that we're having breakfast. Most of my patients find that once we hit the breakfast routine, they start to achieve their goals much more um, efficiently. Um, there's all sorts of things really that we, we can start looking at. It just depends on the patient's goal and how we can customize that to what their needs are. So we're almost into mid-January now, so people may not have set themselves a goal to start a routine uh, in the new year. So is there such a thing as, oh, I started too late, I'm not going to bother, or when, when is, what, what's the right attitude to have for that? There's no such thing. You can start whenever you want. It's all about your relationship with the food and your mentality. As long as you feel that you're ready and it's your time, you're going to achieve it. And for all my patients that always come in, I always tell them the same thing. I already believe in you. So that bit, you're already done. All you have to do is believe in yourself too. If you already think that this is something that you want, you can achieve it. We just have to put a few steps into place to help you along the way, but it's always achievable. And you might have people coming up to you that uh, are going to the gym. They've been going now for, say, three weeks and they haven't really noticed much of an improvement. They're getting bigger, they're gaining muscle mass maybe, but uh, not much in the diet area. So what advice would you give them? That's a really good question. I get this question a lot. It can be really confusing because there's a lot of contradicting um, advice out there, particularly on the internet. So it, ca it can get confusing. But what I think you should always do is focus on the type of training you want to do. Are you a person that likes to do classes with your friends? Or are you a person that likes to go to the gym and maybe focus on strength? and maybe the machinery. Uh, depending on which type of person you are, it depends on which route we would go down with your food intake. Because um, obviously calories and the amount of calories you consume need to be very similar to the type of exercise and energy that you put out. And that's one of the main ways that we can find a patient getting to, to their goal much more efficiently if we've paired the two together properly. Do people, do you find that people who come to you put a lot of pressure on themselves and maybe set unrealistic targets? That is exactly what happens all the time. What I always try and say is um, try to pick one goal. So for New Year's resolutions, we come in um, to the new year and we're thinking oh, all these changes that we want to do to better ourselves, which is fantastic. But sometimes if we set unrealistic goals and we start falling, falling behind on what we think we can achieve, it starts to knock our confidence down. And that's when we start to leave our New Year's resolu resolutions and they become a little bit um, on the on the sidetrack for the for the moment so what i usually say is try and pick one goal um usually the gym and the food go well together but it's usually hard to keep the two going um so early on in the year i always say pick one try and keep it for about three weeks so once that becomes a habit it comes easy to you and you don't have to think about it then we can move on and add an extra little step onto it. If we do too much too quickly, well, it's most likely that's going to be difficult to to keep up to keep up with it throughout the whole year. So baby steps is always the best way to go, I find.